Good morning everyone. This is hole number two played in the President's Cup Master Division final round. We'll be starting off with our uh, Apocalypse level 5 plus and a Luminary Ball. From the P5 and empty position we are going to move 5 rings to the right and then we are going to make our adjustment max plus 0 P5 and then push our target to max. Once these steps are done we'll be applying power hook rings to the right in case of epox 5 and 6 we'll be applying 16 rings to the right and then for epox 7 it would be 17 rings and for epox 8 it would be 18 rings again epox 7 and 8 are not tested since i don't have those clubs so use practice tokens to judge the hook rings by yourself 5.7 top spin sorry 5.8 top spin 2 left spin max left curl a power hook now this power hook has been very consistent i haven't clipped the rough. I haven't been in the rough on top. I have always been somewhere on the fairway. You see the green, uh, the fairway is very bumpy. So the drive would be 430 to 460 yards. In this case, it is 466. Now, in case of second shot, you, uh, you'll be playing with your wedge, either the rapier level nine or EB7. Judge your club distance. Now, I prefer to keep the white ring touching the rough on top and then apply my toss spin and necessary side spin and make sure the ball guard line goes centered through the hole every single time regardless how much uh, drive yardage you make now this shot i played 43 percent slider and 20 percent elevation p5 numbers so for 12.3 i think it was somewhere around 6.1 to 6.2 rings center the ball and hit perfect clip the rough hitting the pin death center for an eagle now there are some upcoming plays for your uh, validation or maybe uh, your own judgment for the power hooks and the wedge shots now this is the power hook from my practice arena this is the first uh, example I'm posting I'll have one more power hook uh, reference at the end of the video same thing p5 and empty using epoch 5 and luminary move five rings to the right adjust max plus zero p5 push your target to max and then apply power hook rings apocalypse five and six will be 16 rings again epoch seven and eight are not tested which would be 17 and 18 rings respectively then you will be applying 5.8 top spin and two bars of left spin and also apocalypse level five has less curl so what you can do is Instead of 16, you can apply like 15.5 to 15 rings for power hook, or you can use a side spin three ball. Full left curl, max OP, power hook. Here we take uh, some glitchy rolls. 440 yards. Now, this one i judge my i judge my club distance to be around like 80 percent slider see first i go to max and then i pull back till i have my white ring touching the rough on top then once again apply spins to have the wall color and going centered through the cup if possible even piercing the pin and i had a glitchy spot there so i move around to see the foam ball guard line see just there now this shot was played 80% slider and 20% elevation. Again, prefer wedges, rapier nine or EB seven. Center the ball and hit perfect. This will also hit the pin dead center for an eagle. Now, for some reason, if you are short on the drive, meaning around 420 to 425 yards, you will be in the thorn range. So I tried this thorn dunk at minus 10% P5, which was kind of over adjusted. So I recommend if you get into the thorn range for a dunk, maybe try minus 15 P4 or minus 20 P4. Either all should drop and I think there's a difference of 0.1 decimal between bo both of them, minus 15, minus 20 P4. You will see we will drop like half a cup on the left. 
we do it perfect but we will drop on the left half to 0.75 cups see just there so minus 15 or minus 20 p4 and you should be dropping this one nicely for thorn dunk if necessary now this is just a power hook drive for your reference just to show the consistency of the power hook five rings to the right from p5 and empty using apocalypse 5 and luminary ball again max plus zero p5 you push your target to max epox 5 and 6 will be applying 16 rings power hook epox 7 17 rings epox 8 18 rings epox 7 and 8 have been not tested since i don't have those clubs then max left curl max op power hook two left spin 5.8 top spin And like I said in between of the video, Epoch 5 has less curl, so either use 15.5 rings for power hook or use a side spin 3 ball. And we nicely come in in the wedge range. So, a very good opportunity for a drop on hole number 2. Try the drive if you are not confident, and this is a must drop in the weekend round.